the kitchen. Welcome to the new modern kitchen that was added in the 1920s by John Wells Pratt Jr. The addition was exciting because it had running water and a better way of cooking. As you walk around the kitchen clockwise, the first thing you will see is the stove. This stove is an Andes Jr., which allowed both gas, the four burners on the right, and coal or wood, the four burners on the left. The top of the stove is made of gunmetal, and the oven itself is made of porcelain. This stove was used up until the last Mrs. Pratt moved out to live with her sister in the 1970s. The stove features griddles or lids that could be removed in order to obtain more heat and warmth in the kitchen. If heating with wood, the entire plate could be removed to add wood. There is a door underneath the coal slash wood side so that ashes could be removed. As you look at the top of the stove, the two glass door compartments were used to keep food warm. As you continue to walk around the room, you will come to the tall kitchen cupboards. These cupboards were used to store as much as possible. Going to the store was not as available as it is today, so canned and preserved foods were stored here. The displays you will see depict several eras because they represent the four generations of the Pratts who lived in the house. As you can see, there is little counter space. They use the work table you see displayed in the center of the kitchen. Meals were not typically eaten in the kitchen. The table was allowed for food preparation. The drainer sink. These were made of cast iron and allowed for dishes to drain after being washed. The deep sink to the right of the drainer sink was used to do laundry prior to having the use of washing machines. One sink was used for washing and the other for rinsing. A ringer was then attached to the sink to wring out the clothes. On the board over the deep sink, we have an evolution of ironing from the single flat iron to multiple irons with one handle and finally with electric plugs. Note the various types of plugs depicting the evolution of electrical outlets. Below the sink is a butter churn used to churn cream into butter. Just past the sink is a wooden early vintage washing machine. This device agitated the clothes by turning the crank, which moved three cogs back and forth. Water would have to be changed for rinsing. Note the wringer to squeeze out the water between the washing and rinsing. The ice box is a wooden cabinet. It had a top section where the ice was put and the bottom section is where food was stored. The ice was delivered as needed to keep food cold. Ice boxes came in various sizes, but all had limited space, so most food was preserved in other ways. Things like milk were delivered daily. If you look down to the right of the ice box, there is a small door used so that milk could be delivered to the house on a daily basis. The milkman opened a small door on the outside and deposited the amount requested. The residents could then open a door inside and get the milk without ever having to leave the house. Next to that display is a coal heater that would have been found in various rooms throughout the house to supply heat. This would have been before the installation of cast iron radiators, which provided steam heat. Above the coal stove is a shelf with a display of eggs. The small scale would have been used to weight the eggs to determine pricing.